I'm gonna pull up the SP Editor app because I'm already in the computer mm -hmm. and it's just super fast. Got the SP connected via USB-C, just press connect and it's just gonna go ahead and connect right to the SP. So this is this works in real time, right? As I move through on the hardware, the app will also move around the different pads. Mm -hmm. I can make a lot of different settings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop some of these into the pads. And this is starting from a fresh SP project. One thing I want to point out is that you always want to be working at the BPM that you want your track in. You know, I'm working at 135 BPM. So what I'm going to do as I'm setting up the SP, uh, we'll see that I'm going to set up the patterns at 135 and the samples at 135 as well. Cool. So, so these are all loops, like there's no one shots here, obviously. Some of them are, you okay. know, like the kick, for example. Okay, that's I'll, just the one shot. Yeah, I want to get some of it in there, like, and just do it on the SP. Okay. Like it was a drum machine, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and drag a few things in here. going to put the Tom's on here. Let's see the 909 clap is on here. Essentially, I want all this stuff in here. 